the slide. Parties in the sky, like the storm is with the fire. Yeah, boy, you nice. Boy, you nice. Hot gold, like spreading his eyes. Wow, what you sacrifice? Knowing you could die in your body by your side. Just wait for a few people to join. Just keep calling inside. Let's go, bro. Alright, y'all. Let me just get into the let me get into the session. This is how my hair look. I did a washing style last night. If you guys was, if you guys was on the live, chill. Just had a had a big smoke. Had some, some golo. What's that? Big smoke. Had some cool. Which app do you use to go live, bro? I use YouTube. I'm live on YouTube. I'm using my phone. I'm just using the YouTube app. But yeah, this is how my hair look after the washing style. I didn't do nothing to it. Or at. <sighs> Colombian Kush. I never heard of that. Yeah, but this how my hair look. I ain't put no products in yet. I didn't brush it or do anything. My over here looks a little messed up. I like the um, what's it called? The Shea Moisture though. I like the Shea Moisture shampoo. Yo, I've been brushing and brushing. I still see the same progress. What should I do? I've been brushing for four weeks now. If you've been brushing for four weeks and you ain't seen no progress yet, I mean, if you, you're you beginning and you brush for four weeks, it's about time for a cut. Yeah, check your angles too. Make sure you're you know brushing correctly. And make sure that you're using a medium brush because some people be using a hard brush and they're heavy long. So, like, there's no point in brushing if you're doing that. But, yeah, you've been brushing for four weeks. It's time for a cut now. If you're a beginner, you shouldn't go no longer than four weeks.
three people in the chat. Y'all do know that y'all could talk, right? Y'all could say something. I don't like when I'm just brushing and just nobody saying nothing. It just makes me want to end the law, honestly. It's, it's mad weird. more minutes and nobody's saying nothing before I end this. Then my hair curled up around my edges. Gotta get that to lay down. So, I got to do a washing style tonight. How you do your washing style? What kind of shampoo you use? What products you use? You know, everybody, everybody use, everybody use different things. This what I used yesterday. This got my hair silky, silky. Conditioner was good too. The conditioner it laddered up real fine. You said you might have to use a medium brush, medium hard to stretch. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to do it now because I don't want to. I just washed my hair, so I don't want to lift it up. I'm not using a medium hard brush right now because I don't want to lift up my hair. I'll probably do that later on tonight. Just piece. I use a clarifying shampoo. What is that? What's a clarifying shampoo? oils in my opinion is coconut oils and tea tree oil i ran out of coconut oil a while ago i just didn't pick none up but those two oils is is, is the best to me how are you supposed to know your angles as a beginner uh you use a mirror well first you got to decide on what pattern you're going for 
what is 360, 360 with a swirl, 540, 720, whatever you're going for, and then you work on it after that. After you know what angle you want, then you could. You should know how to brush after that. And always use a mirror, don't blind brush. Tea tree oil has so many benefits, it's crazy. Yep. Dry, it helps dry itchy scalp. It helps dry itchy scalp. It has vitamin E, aloe vera, and and it also fights fungus. But coconut oil has a lot of benefits too. I like coconut oil too. It's, I mean, both of them is natural oils, but coconut oil is probably the most natural oil. Brushing times a day. I usually do like 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, that's perfect, man. If that's what you do, 45 to an hour, that's perfect. If you want to do more, that's up to you, but an hour minimum is, is fine. It's crazy. This is like, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. This is like the first time in a while where I did a washing style and my hair feels moisturized after I washed it, even though I didn't put nothing in it. So if you guys don't use this shampoo, you might wanna pick it up. I'm still gonna add a moisturizer. I'm still gonna add this moisturizer. This is a daily moisturizer I use every day or almost every day. That's the best shampoo, bro. Sheesh. It might be from from what I seen last night. The lathers on a shampoo and a condition is crazy. I've been sleeping on them for a while. You brush for an hour, then rag up until the next day. Uh, yeah. If, if you're not brushing, you should be ragged up. Because you don't want your hair to get frizzy or mess up. It'll be out of place. And remember, waves is laid down curl, so you got to keep that rag on to, you know, train your hair to lay down. Been using for years with my fro before. Yeah, I like them. Uh, where is it? Somewhere over here, I have the the Shea Moisture Moisturizer, but, but this is my first time using the shampoo. Because the moisturizer used to like over curl my hair so i thought the shampoo was gonna do the same but it actually didn't it just made my hair real like silky kind of what's the name of it about to get it tomorrow shampoo shea moisture shea moisture curl and shine shampoo that's the shampoo and the conditioner curl and shine conditioner i got mine from I think Walgreens or something. You get it from any pharmacy. It was like eleven dollars each, so it was like twenty. It was like twenty five dollars after tax for both of them. Any promo codes for swag rags? About to go crazy with rags. Yeah, my promo code is my YouTube name, Elite Eli. It's in the description of all of my um, YouTube videos and this live video too. But yeah. It's Elite Eli. If you click the link from one of my videos, it'll just take you straight there. And you don't have to put it in that checkout. But if you just go to the website directly, then you gotta add. You have to add my promo code. So say less. Yeah, man, swag rag got the best rags. Got a whole bunch of rags. Y'all see this right here? Hold on. Let me show you. This right here, you cut your own hair. Nah, man. Nah, bro. I wish, though. Like, I will start doing it soon. 
Not soon, soon, but I want to start doing it eventually. But these is all my rags. See all these rags here? These are all swag rags. Well, most of them. All swag rags. This whole drip, this whole thing is full of rags. Yeah. That's all uh how the price is looking for what the swag rags? They're about what twelve dollars, fourteen dollars or something for the rag. And plus you could use my promo code for a discount, so you'll be saving a little. And I still want some more too. I seen you guys had a new one. It was this this Nike one, but it was like an orange one. I want to get that one soon. Twelve dollars for one rag. Yeah. It's about something like that. Honestly, though, like if you're trying to say like that's expensive, that's 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 fake cheap compared to other you know people and other websites, other competitors. The only way you're gonna get a cheaper rag is if you go into like a beauty supply store. Honestly, they silky, right? Yeah. You said that LV one look fire. Yes, yeah, fire. Um, I don't even know where it is. So the LV one, you talking about this one? This is this is a Gucci one. I, so. Oh, the LV one. Hold on. Talking about this one. This is an LV one. Man, they got mad fire do rags. This another yeah. They talk. You talking about the black one? Yeah. This the black Gucci. The purple V on. I just took off. I just took off the orange V on. They got a lot of drip, man. I'm telling y'all, this one goes stupid. I barely wear this one. It goes stupid though. You sound about to cop something right now. I right, bet, bro. Let me know how you like them when you end. This is a red. This is the red LV Supreme. This one was one of my first ones, actually. I think this was like one of my first do rags for me. No, actually, I'm bugging. This was my first one. This was like my second one. They even got they got this too. Silky like. I wore this when I went to Las Vegas and I was doing it um when I was doing the ATV. It's like a mask, you put it over your head. They got they got that. This this another one, one of my favorite ones. This cartoon one. This one fire. Uh I don't really rock with this one like that. with this one like that but they even got the wave caps it's a v-long wave cap what he said he said sheesh <laughs> if i was su rags uh yeah i thought with su rags i had like one or two Yeah, I had like one or two. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Y'all know about monsoon caps? I used to have this. Monsoon cap. I can't find under the sewer racks, though. I think I had like one somewhere. Uh, I got one somewhere laying around. How do you, bro, how do you brush your top left and right? I vertical brush. 
if you can estimate how many do rags you have, how much would you say? Uh, not even that much. Like compared to other waivers, I don't want to have that much. I probably have between I want to say thirty, maybe thirty to forty. 50 the most though 50 the most but yeah like somewhere around there i used to have way more but i gave away a lot like for example like this red one that i told you this red one like they got a blue one that's similar to this i gave it away because like you know like red is really my favorite color and a blue one i ain't really like rare like that so like i have a lot i gave away But you said, how do you brush your top left and right? I vertical brush. Let me. Show. My top left and my top right, I vertical brush. Like this. Start from the crown. It's the same way like brushing, but the brush is just straight. This way you can get, you can get your top left and top right to connect better. And it also like breaks forks. So that's how I brush the top left and the top right. I brush my side straight down. Yeah, I brush it on a, well not straight down. I tilt the brush a little bit so my waves could, you know, go up and not straight down. So I, t I just tilt the brush a little bit. Nothing too crazy. I'm about to add some some moisturizer. Even though my hair feels moisturized, but it's still dry though. I know it's dry because I ain't put nothing in. I just wash my hair. I be seeing people's um YouTube videos when I be watching or like when I be on IG and I see like Waver's Lodge, they be using like this much product and put that in their hair. You don't need that much, I'm telling you. You could put this much. That's that's all you need for your whole head. I'm telling you. Would you ever get 720s? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. It's one of the worst. It's one of the worst paddings ever. Salute to whoever gets it, but that's not my fault. I don't mess with them either. Yeah, I don't mess with those. Five forties. That's a maybe. And the reason why I said maybe because I don't think I'll ever scalp. But if I ever do, 540s would be a maybe. 360 with a swirl, maybe. But 720s, hell no. Any waivers I should follow on IG? Uh, it's all up to you. Everybody got their preference. If I was you, I would follow... Let me see. You could follow this this dude he has coarse hair his name is um his name is let me see i'm gonna say something else and i forgot but you could follow damn why is it not moving elite eli yeah he's a good waiver his ig is elite.eli underscore but other than that i don't really I don't really know what to tell you about that. That's how I really follow you. <laughs> I just, man, we just had seven viewers, but only three likes. Can y'all just like the video real quick for me? Wait, for 360 waves, how should you brush your sides? Down or straight? Down or straight? When, when it comes to your sides... Oh, let me get my mirror. 
when it comes to your side, you have your your side and then your top side. So like for example, this is my right side. So you got your right side and your top right. Your right, the side, your right side, you brush diagonal, not straight down. You tilt the brush a little and brush down. You could brush the top right down too, like this. Like, you know, however you, you know, you could either do it like this or like this. It's, it's both the same way. But, but if you get like forks or anything in your, you know, corners, you could vertical brush. That's an option. But it's however you feel comfortable, honestly. Because not everybody vertical brushes, so it's, it's really up to you. Fuck with three sixty eight process. You got four brushes and whatnot. It's funny you said that because I was dead up late at night just watching mad, mad wave videos. And I was watching a couple of his old videos. I do fuck with him. I I follow him on IG. I, I'm subscribed to his channel. I've been watching him for a minute. I only ever bought one brush from him, and it was the um, it was a curved brush. I actually gave that away too. It was one of his curved brushes, the red. It was the red one, the red curved brush. It looked like this. It was the palm brush like this, but it was a red one curved just like this, and it was a hard one. I gave that away because I don't really use hard brushes like that. Even when I'm woofing, woofing, like hard brushes still hurt my head. I only use medium hard, so I gave that away. But, but yeah, I've seen his fork brushes. I might cop one. Rashad brushes fire. Y'all got some of his brushes? Like I said, besides that one brush I caught from him, I never really used his brushes. And that brush I caught, that was a while ago. I think that's when he first came out with brushes. So was thinking about copying the four brushes just in case. I, I got the silver medium handle brush. I brush my sides straight down. Straight down. Y'all peep, um, what's his name? Jeezy, new brush that he be using on his lives. And if y'all peep, y'all gonna copy when it come out? I wonder how much he can be charging for that brush. He say, yeah. That brush look fire. Like, you could tell that way he put time into that brush the brush is made for waivers especially the way the corners are the, and whatever might cop depending on brush yeah he got a medium and a soft one for, oh you said depending on depending on price yeah i may cop too just to support i might cop it too
I was about to ask something again, and I forgot. I be forgetting my own car. Oh, um, what's some of your guys like waivers, like favorite waivers? Whether it's IG or YouTube or both, or TikTok. I know everybody, you know, mess with TikTok now. Hair starting to uh, starting to over curl. Sir Cruz was tough for a minute. Yeah, he was. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even feel like talking about it, but Sir Cruz is fake a weirdo. I ain't gonna lie to you. I used to watch Three Sixty Jews. Yeah, I still watch him. Nah, so I'm really a weirdo. Because it's... A lot of people say that because it's that true. And I'm going to tell you guys why I feel like he's the weirdo. Because he really think he's better than everybody. And, I, you know, like, he just... He's just weird. I've never had no contact with the dude. Like, I never sp spoke to him in message, DMs, or whatever. He actually, he reacted to two of my videos on TikTok. That was the only, like, how can I say? Like, that was the only time, like, he ever, like, you know, like, reacted to anything or whatever. That's the only, like, contact we ever had is when he, is when he reacted to two of my TikTok videos. And then when I went on IG, I seen Top Waivers. Top Waivers tagged him or something. I clicked on his page. The man blocked me. I never talked to this guy. I never had a convo with him. Nothing. I'm blocked. I don't know. He's he's just a weirdo, man. And the stuff he be doing in his videos sometimes, he's really he's really a weirdo. I ain't got time for weirdos. But that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. If y'all fuck with him, that's y'all. I just feel like he a weirdo. But anyway, let's change the topic. Just joined. Who blocked? Low-key fell off. Um, I was talking about, um, what's his name? Sir Cruz. Never had no contact with the man, and he blocked me on IG. I don't care, though, but it's just, like, it's just weird. That's mad weird, because, like... And I also heard from like, not even just me, I seen he been doing it to other people too. Cause I hear other people that never had no contact with their man or just said, you know, one like funny comment or something and he blocks them. I don't know. It's whatever. So cool, been weird and rude. Yeah, he definitely is rude. He definitely is rude. Oh, I thought y'all was talking about Jews. Cause I f nah, son, I fuck with Jews. I fuck with him as a waiver and a person. I love C me, C me, KJ. That name sounds familiar. I, I definitely know who that is. Like, I definitely know who that is, but I just can't put a face to him right now. It's a block city. Juice cool for sure. Yeah, juice is cool. Every other waiver is basically cool besides him, honestly. He's just a weirdo. And it's like, it's fake weird because it's like, you're a grown ass man acting like that. Like, that's weird. So I'm just. Son, just a clown. 
That's what I think. How many weeks are you? Honestly, I don't even know how much weeks I'm wolfing. But I will tell you, my last cut was August 10th or 11th. I can't remember which day. But you guys could tell me how long I've been wolfing. I'm not trying to do the math right now. Yeah, but my last cut was August 10th. And last week, last week, I just got a taper. I didn't cut nothing down. I just wanted to get a quick session. I'm gonna get a longer session later. Just, just soft brush my hair before I wrap up. Mad annoying when your brushes be shedding, shedding bristles, especially when you had them for a while. I had this brush for a while, it's not new, so it's like that'd be, that'd be mad annoying. does the task say <laughs> you, you gotta be more specific bro because i got a, as you can see i got a lot of tags you gotta if you're talking about this one it's a 50 cent line it's a death gotta be easy because life is cause life is hard and this one it's a hustle plus a muscle equals success After I finish here, I'm about to go probably just go play some some 2K. What systems y'all got? Let me know what systems you guys got. I already know what half you guys gonna say anyway. Oh, to Xbox, I'm surprised. Mostly everybody got PS5s and 4s. I got a PS4, my bro got a PS5, but I look he like next gen. Hell yeah, next gen is way better. PS5 most deaf. He said, damn, so only one person got Xbox. You got next gen, bro, or current gen? I got Xbox too. I got both. I got next gen right here, and in my in my current gen is at my shorty script because I don't even use it no more. I just keep it there and use it for like Netflix and, and Hulu and stuff when we want to watch movies. You got the X or the S? I got the S. Current gen, I'm thinking my next gen. You might as well get it. Graphics is way better. And you might as well upgrade. You're gonna upgrade eventually, so just do it. Whenever you're ready though, I ain't gonna force you to get it. No really good games out. Yeah, that's true. 
2K is really trash. If you really want to talk about it. Mo I feel like most people have a part by mess. Yep. And I'm I'm just with you. I feel cool playing now way more than park. I didn't start playing park on 2K till 16. I played park 16 to 20. I skipped park last year and just played all now. I said, I skipped park last year and just played play now online all year. This year, I'm getting back into park though. Right now, I got a, a, a point guard, a 86 or 87 overall. Damn, nobody else got Xbox next gen. I could have got I would have hopped off and got a game with y'all. I started playing park in 17 and got into play now on play now again in 21. I always been into play now. I used to always be confused when all of my friends like like all of my friends would get 2K just for you know my career in park. I'm like, bro, you don't know how to play all now? You don't know how to play online. A lot of people don't like playing now. I don't know why. A lot of people don't like playing now. It's low key fun. Nah, it's not low key fun. It's just fun. <laughs> There's nothing low key about it. Play now online is fun. Actually, well, I don't really want to. It's fun when people play the right way. I'll say that. For all the people that do computer D and do defensive settings, as soon as the game starts, they pause it, do defensive settings, run a zone, do anything to win. Those people, it's not fun when you play those people. But other than that, yeah. I need the low key because some people might disagree. Yep, a lot of people disagree. Play now online, it's like, why not play my team? That's crazy because I told myself I was going to get into my team this year and I still ain't do it. I never played my team yet. Because it's like, my team is really some cheat. Because it's like, let's say you have, you know, like regular players. If everybody got OP plays, you know, you're, you're going to get spanked. It's like, it's like, there's a better skill gap on play now online than my team. My team, on my team, like, I feel like. I feel like with my team, if you have the better team, you're going to win. Playing out online, it don't matter what team you have. You could have the Hawks and somebody has the Bucks and you could beat them if you, you know, really know how to play the game. But with playing out online, the only thing I don't like is, like, when, when you're beating somebody, you already know nine times out of ten they're going to quit. They don't play the whole game. So it's like you're either going to play the whole game and the game's going to be close with somebody or you're going to be blowing them out and they quit. That's all that happens to me. Either people quit early or the game is really close and they play weird or so, whatever. I'm cool. It's like everybody could shoot in my team. Yep. That's another annoying thing. Like I be watching like people's videos or like watching my friends that play my team shooting threes with Shaq. I don't like that. That's nonsense. I don't like stuff like that. Yeah, he said, yeah, same thing on Madden. Yeah, Madden's way worse. Cause my friend play Madden. My boy Jew, he be ranked on there like top, like top 60, 50. People quit all the time against him. Yeah, my team, yeah. I'm glad you actually said that. That's another reason why I don't like my team.
I be seeing people green threes with Shaq. That is not supposed to happen at all. People dribbling with Wilt Chamberlain. Like, come on, bro. Shooting threes with Giannis. Like, I might get tight just thinking about it. Madden all about cheese plays. Honestly, I don't play Madden no more. The only Madden I remember. Madden 18, I was good at Madden 18. I like, like, I was real good. Then after that, I just stopped playing. I just, you know, focused on 2K and COD more. I didn't really play Madden. And then I got into Madden again, 21. So I played Madden 18. I skipped 19 and 20. I played 21. I didn't really like it like that. And then I said to myself, I'm not buying 22. Because I fake wasting my money. I bought 21 and played like five games the most, literally. So I'm not buying that again. Besides 2K and COD, I really don't be playing nothing. There's really not nothing else to play. I want them to come out with a like a boxing game. I used to play UFC. UFC 2 and 3. I didn't play 4. I think 4 is out now. I ain't played that. But I really want like a boxing game like Fight Night. I need a new Fight Night. They need to drop something. They need a new GTA too. They've been talking about that for like 10 years, I feel like. Same. I don't like Cold War, though, or Modern Warfare, so I just play BO4, 2K22. BO4 still popping? I didn't like BO4. I think, was it? Is BO4 the game when it was using all the jetpacks and stuff? I don't like those type of cards. I like boots on the ground. And I actually like Cold War and Modern Warfare. I just don't like what's the other... What's the other thing? Warzone. I hate Warzone. He said, nah, that's BO3. Yeah, BO3, I hated BO3. I didn't play it. I didn't even buy the game, actually. I didn't like all that jetpack and all that stupid nonsense. I'm more into, like, just old car. Like, my favorite card is BO2. I still love BO1, Modern Warfare 2, 3, but BO2 is my favorite card. BO4 is basically BO3, but boots on the ground. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Uh, if you want to talk about COD, we, the worst COD is um Ghost. I'll tell you that. BO2 is the undisputed goal of COD, though, in my opinion. Yep. Me, honestly, like, I don't even think, like, that's an opinion. I, f I feel like that's a fact. Y'all try Vanguard. I didn't play that yet. I didn't play the beta. I seen like YouTube vids and watch people play it. It look I right. like it looks similar to World War Two with the old guns and, and stuff. Yo bro, what part of New York you from? I live in Queens. What part are you from? You must be from New York if you're asking. But I'm from Queens. Yeah, Vanguard looked like um it was like World War Two, and a lot of people say World War Two is trash too. That's what's up, bro. I'm from Queens. What part you from, bro? You probably live near me too. That's a crazy thing. Cause you know everybody in New York know everybody. You said Southside. <laughs> I'm dead in Southside too. That's crazy. What part is? Well, I don't really want to put. You know our business out there but we from the same part world war ii wasn't that bad you know it just wasn't that fun to me i a lot of people say world war ii was a bad game like i can't say if it was good or bad but like what i would say is i had fun playing it but i feel like but i feel like um the reason why world war ii was fun to me is because like i had a lot of people to play with like at the time because when World War II was out, I think I was, I had just finished high school. So, like, all of my friends, we was all online every day, like, six of us, five, six of us. So, like, that was the only fun part is playing with a group of friends. If it wasn't for that, I don't know if I probably would have enjoyed the game. Yeah. 
But what you guys feel about 2K though? 22. Because. Hmm, I feel like. A lot of people saying this the best 2K. I don't know what they smoking. I feel like this is one of the worst 2Ks ever. I don't know what they did with this 2K. I could. <laughs> This live would be two hours long if I go in about 2K22, honestly. About what's wrong with it, what they need to fix. I just play it because it's like, in 2K, they smart. Like, they could do whatever they want because they don't really have no competition. Like, who else is making basketball games? They have live. is not giving them live. Like, NBA Live is not giving them no competition at all. So, they already know, like... Yeah, we're going to complain every year, but we still going to buy the game. Like, so it's like, that's just it. We said current gen is terrible, next gen is decent. I ain't played current gen yet for 2K22. Yeah, but next, you said next gen is decent. I would totally disagree with you, honestly. I feel like, I don't know what they did with this 2K. There is, I mean, a lot of people like it. Some people, I don't understand why everybody on 2K22 next gen plays Kawhi in a defense. That is the dumbest thing ever. I feel like that is trash. They said it's supposed to be more skilled based, but when you go online, play now online, you could green anything you throw up. Like, it's like, like you already know the game is horrible when you're playing somebody, and like when you see somebody open, you already know it's gonna be green. No matter who you shoot with, it could be anybody. I was playing with the Trailblazers, and I'm greening threes with Larry Nance Jr. Like, I green a three with Giannis. I green like five threes in a row with Giannis the other day. Like, the game is really, nah, the game is not it. They made my career stupid difficult. You call pick and rolls, your man is still on you, still guarding you. You can't go nowhere, you can't shoot. It's weird. You see what it is? Nah, shooting. Yep, it's way too easy. That's why I ain't really like. I don't really like it. You could literally shoot with anybody. I'm telling you, anybody. I was just playing yesterday with um. I was playing my friend, and we was using like old throwback teams, bro. The, this man, he, this man was using Allen Iverson, my friend, and I was using Derrick Rose, the 2010 11 Bulls. And I was shooting mad threes with Derrick Rose. We know Derrick Rose don't shoot threes. He was making every contested mid-range of Allen Iverson over seven footers. Like, it was ridiculous. And I feel like that's why, because it's like, even people that don't know how to play the game, they could just shoot with anybody. It's real easy. I feel like, I definitely feel like 21 was better than 22. Even though 21 had its flaws too, I feel like 21 was, is way better than 22. Had the speed boost glitch ruin 21 current. Yeah. I actually don't even remember how how current gen feel for 21. Because because I haven't played it in so long.
I got the next gen Xbox when it first came out, so after that I played current gen like that. Damn, we've been on this thing for an hour though. Alright, I'm about to just end this live though. I appreciate everybody that popped out and chopped it up with me. I'm about to go. I think I'm about to go grind this trash game. Because I'm bored. Nothing else to play. Alright, y'all.